first things first, the new duster is available in the sky in orange shade and it does help spice up the look. Yes, the basic design remains unchanged but several stylistic tweaks freshen things up. The square headlights now get more intricate detailing and the grille gets a new twin slab design as well. There's more brushed silver cladding that seriously ups the duster's SUV credentials. Fatter roof rails and new rear view mirrors with turn indicators help bring the duster's appearance up to speed and so do these new black alloys. At the rear, the reprofiled tail lamps get a very distinctive S-shaped LED signature and look really nice. The interior has been chassed up as well. The new black and chocolate brown plastics help cover up the rougher edges better and you'll also notice more silver highlights and bit of chrome detailing that helps spruce things up. There's embossed branding atop the glove box and the centre console gets glossy black plastic as well. Only those very familiar with the earlier Duster's cabin will note that the layout of the centre console has been slightly revised. The buttons for the hazard lights and door lock now sit higher up and are more convenient to access. The mirror controls that were formerly under the handbrake have thankfully now been moved to the traditional position near the window switches. However, the cruise control switches are still scattered between the dash and steering and the steering column mounted audio controllers continue to remain out of view. Equipment wise, the top spec dusters finally get automatic climate control. There's a new reverse camera as well and the infotainment system also offers voice recognition. Curiously though, the Duster AMT doesn't get a dedicated dead pedal even though the footwell is spacious enough to accommodate one. The seats themselves are trimmed in richer fabrics and the driver's seat gets an armrest. In terms of space and comfort, this Duster is no different to the pre facelift version, which is no bad thing. The rear seat also offers a good deal of support and as ever, the large boot will be a boon for anyone looking to use their Duster on a long out-of-town excursion. As before, the Duster is available with a 102 bhp 1.6 litre petrol engine, an 84 bhp 1.5 litre diesel and a 108 bhp 1.5 litre diesel. Again, front wheel drive is standard, though the 108 bhp diesel can also be had with all wheel drive. What is new is the option of an automated manual transmission or AMT for the 108 bhp front wheel drive duster. Renault calls the system Easy R to be read as easier and well, it does make driving in heavy traffic less of a chore. At mild throttle inputs and in average driving scenarios, gear shifts on the 6-speed gearbox are timely and largely predictable. Gear shifts aren't the smoothest around but they aren't as abrupt as you'd get in a typical AMT either. The Duster Automatic is the first AMT to come with Hill Start Assist 2, which allows for safe getaways on an incline. The EZR gearbox does give drivers the option to shift manually as well. In manual mode, gear shifts are nicer and what's good is that the electronics don't intervene with an upshift right till 5000 RPM. This is an important point because it gives you better control, especially through corners and on hilly roads. As for other elements of the driving experience, there are mild improvements to the powertrain. The 108 bhp engine continues to impress for its good pulling power and what's good is turbo lag has reduced and it runs quieter as well. There's less judder or kickback at the steering too which is something you'd experience while cornering on rough roads. Handling on the whole though is sure-footed and predictable and the duster's legendary ability to flatten bad roads is just as good. The suspension is one of the highlights on the duster. While it can come across as a tad stiff at low speeds, it absorbs just about everything at higher speeds. The AWD version gets independent rear suspension and thus, it's a touch more supple and sure-footed. With the update, Renault has addressed some of the duster's lesser points. The cabin looks that little bit plusher than before and the top spec versions get more equipment as well. And we think you'll agree that the facelift has done its bit to freshen up the design. As for the AMT, it doesn't quite match the smoothness of a torque converter, let alone a twin clutch unit. But it does the job of providing two pedal convenience rather well. The bigger plus though is the substantial cost advantage. The Duster AMT RXL costs 11.66 lakh rupees, ex showroom Delhi, while the fully loaded RXZ costs around 12.86 lakh rupees. In comparison, the sole Creta automatic costs 13.96 lakh rupees. 
So the Duster AMT may not have the sophistication or the finesse of the Creta, but Renault has surely broadened its appeal to give it a strong fight back.